got to start doing this, man. Lord, please don't start doing this shit, Gladys. Let us just do it, man. Yikes. Um, Dude, let the pros <laughs> handle it. <laughs> no, I mean, Gladys are the pros. <laughs> Let the let the let the amateurs handle this, man. Well, no, we're not in the game, really. This is an oddity. Like Wicked said, it's you know, let the pros handle. Yeah, shit, man. Woo. Um. Uh. Because if we get in, it's going to get ugly. Between numbers and accuracy, oh. It'll be the 1920s all over again. Another 10, a like prohibition. Oh. Yeah, this is a sad case right here. Yikes, you talk about a fucking gut wrenching case, man. Another 10, a Charlotte native tragically killed over the weekend on the way home from her wedding in Folly Beach. Police say a drunk driver hit the golf cart she, her new husband, and two other family members were traveling in. She got killed on the way home from her fucking wedding. Yikes. For joining us tonight for your news at 10, I'm Alicia Barnes. And I'm Brian Blakely. As Queen City News reporter Sydney Heiberger tells us, the family of Samantha Miller is devastated. She will not get to live the life that she so desperately wanted. Wow, that's that's so fucking sad, man. That's fucking terrible, man. <laughs> the death Jeez. those part. Right, man. Facts, man. I mean, Jesus Christ, you talk about a fucking you, nobody here can say that they got a raw deal. You talk about a raw fucking deal. You talk about getting a fucking being unlucky, getting a bad hand. But you know, but you know what, I weddings come and go. Yeah, she 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 probably was fucking waited all her life for this moment. This is what you know girls do. And then she fucking, oh my God, Jesus Christ. The happiest day of a person's life. I've never seen my sister look so beautiful and so happy. Turn to the worst in seconds. And the sirens started. And the sirens kept going. And the sirens didn't stop. And my mom said something happened to Sam, not knowing anything. 34-year-old Charlotte native Samantha wow, Miller. Wow, the mom knew. The mom knew. Yikes. Yeah, Woo. my mother's known, man. Yikes. And the sirens kept going. And the sirens didn't stop. And my mom said something happened to Sam, not knowing anything. 34-year-old Charlotte native Samantha Miller left her wedding on Folly Beach in a golf cart, sitting next to her new husband with her brother-in-law and nephew in the front seat. Police say they were rear-ended by 25-year-old Jamie Komarowski, who was reportedly going 65 miles per hour. Damn, Jamie Komarowski. Salute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I know I don't mean to go, I don't mean to make light of it. And this is pretty tragic, but I will say I'm relieved it wasn't an umbrito. Me too. I'm, that's what I was looking for. I was trying to see if it was one of us that did that shit. I'm so, I mean, I'm glad that it wasn't us, man. This is a good night, man. Got yeah, the gliders. Gliders are, are, are catching up on last <laughs> night. Last night we got cream, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I still don't, no, I thought we won last night. No nah, man, you you when you win, golf. you lose. said it was golf. Low oh, golf, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> well, Look at that's where they're catching up. <laughs> this was golf too. <laughs> See? Law and nephew similar. in the front seat. Police say they were rear-ended by 25-year-old Jamie Komarowski, who was reportedly going 65 miles per hour. My mom and I. Ran holding lot. hands, no shoes, no bra, no nothing, just screaming, Sammy. Samantha died at the scene. Her husband, Eric. Damn, she died at the scene. Yikes. So it was like, it was in no fucking. When this chick drunk. Man, that's a rough one, man. This is a rough one, man. Well, they were, they were also in a golf cart, maybe on the road. 
Well, hold yeah, on. Yeah, in that little beach community. Everybody look at this. Look at this. Cars. In yeah. seconds. Look at this. And people, people drive golf carts around here. That's not nothing. That's not nothing. This is not like fucking Harlem, man. This is fucking little town. You mean, you mean they're not doing wheelies on that thing? Yeah. No. Samantha died at the scene. Her husband, Eric Hutchinson, was taken to the hospital in critical condition. The two others in the cart were also injured, one severely. In an affidavit, the arresting officer said Komorowski admitted to having a beer and a tequila drink an hour before the crash, and that, quote, on a scale of one being completely sober and 10 being the most impaired, she stated she was at an eight. Oh, my God, Komorowski, you're, you're, you're in trouble. You're going to get about seven years, man. Vehicular manslaughter, this is about seven years, right? And you know they had that little golf cart all tricked out, you know, with the fucking beer cans towing behind it and glitter and shit all over. Yeah, probably no way you could have missed that thing. God damn. So she, 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 she's going to lose this case. But you don't get like, they don't treat vehicular manslaughter like regular um, murder because it's manslaughter. But um, yeah, so you'll get, um, she'll get about seven years. She'll do, she'll do five. She'll come home. She refused to take a field sobriety test, but a court-ordered blood sample was sent to SLED. 34 wants to be a mom, and she can't. My sister, a daughter, a wife, died in her wedding dress because someone made a terrible decision. She died in her wedding dress. My God. Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. Unbelievable heartache. Komorowski is charged with three wedding. counts of felony DUI, causing great bodily injury, and one count of reckless homicide. Oh, they gave her reckless homicide. Ooh. She's doing 15 or more. Yeah, she'll probably Easy. get I think 10 or more. Yeah. She'll get more just reckless homicide. Komorowski looks like she likes to do jello shots, man. Yeah, Komorowski is, is, Komorowski is a fucking um she's in fucking a whole lot of trouble ski man she's gonna be she's polish so they do a lot of vodka yeah i was gonna say that i wasn't gonna say just that hey i i don't have a problem with an eye for an eye personally like you gotta yeah. go yeah man i don't have a problem with it here's an update on the story we did um we did a couple of uh, months ago here's an update Yikes. Developments now in the murder of a teenager who was missing for months. Prosecutors are laying out new allegations against a former police officer accused of killing 16-year-old Susanna Morales. 